So hi guys, uh, I've done this video today because finally, after this took quite a while, we've got our own, what I call Boeing sticks, okay? Uh, great name for it, I think. Uh, so literally hundreds of people have been asking, uh, could, I, could where can they get a Boeing stick? I, I, we looked around, there was no uh, horse sticks like the one I had to compare to, which I had for 25 years. If I was ever stuck without it, it was like losing my left arm. I re really, really, really needed it for, for certain jobs. It was one of those things. It was just right, and I bought it 25 years ago. Uh, and everyone was asked, well, I only had one, so I couldn't. Yeah, but we did we did source where you got it from, and they had ceased. Yeah, they'd ceased doing it. Ceased doing uh, it. So I, I undertook an endeavour to, to have them made, which wasn't as easy as it sounds. Uh, and a very good friend of mine said he'd help me in, the, in it. It had to be a certain weight, certain material, boing in a certain way, um, and it wasn't easy, uh, you know production isn't easy I've learned a lot about it but basically we've got it now uh, we've got it I'm really pleased with it uh, that's it that's the boing in stick uh, just the right amount of boing now I'm gonna just show because we're starting to sell them T Tanya's told some people we've got them in there and, and, and she's sending them out so I promised people I'd do a little video to just show uh, there's many things you can do with it with it with it with a horseman stick uh, but I'm gonna show how I benefit from it and how people can, what they can use it for, um, and why I value them more th than other. There's not that many horsemanship sticks. Uh, the, 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 the big thing with this one, it, 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 I need it to be not light, because if it's light, it's, it's like a whip. Uh, and I've never found a lot, the, 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 there's other sticks you can get that are too light and they've got leather ends and things, and it just doesn't work for me. So uh, this one, you'll, you'll notice when you get them, there's quite a weight to them. Um, not like heavy, heavy, but, but you can't, the fastest I can do that is that. You can't, you can't whip a horse with them. I mean, obviously, if you really, um, and, and the, the ends needed to be fa fairly solid and not giving, uh, and I'll explain why in a little while. So you cannot hurt, uh, you know, pain is not a good motivator. And I found that these, you can, you, 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 you can tap on a horse with them, and because you can't whip them because they're, they've got a nice weight to them, they'll just boing off them a little bit. You know, it won't. So I'll very quickly show you a close-up so you know what they're like. Um, this is the, the handle. Um, I've had a little lip put on the handle, if you can see there, which, which helps because you can put your finger behind them so you've got more of a grip or your two fingers. So, so you've got you've got that little lip there. The lip also helps if you were gonna um, if you were trailering a horse and you trailered and you needed to close the trailer door, you just hook on. Um, maybe if I quickly show you with the gate. Imagine, imagine, imagine you trailered your horse. It's quite dangerous for some horses to reach, but the little lip just gives you a little a little lip to be able to close petitions and things so I wanted that on there if you look at the end if you look at the end of this yeah it's got your hole uh, so you can put a bag a horsemanship string whatever you want I mean I don't really use the horsemanship strings with them anymore we've got a flat there which is for pushing on a horse there's nothing sharp on them so we can push on a horse without them feeling any sharpness to them uh, so what I meant by the string Right, I need I to get the sun behind I, you. I don't use them with strings really, but the whole, uh, you can put a horsemanship string on uh, or a bag, whatever you want, you know, uh, so you can use them for that. Uh, so yeah, that gives you an idea that there's the flex in them. You don't want too much flex. It's just sort of getting the balance right. So there's a bit of a boing to them. So I'm going to explain now how, um, how this works. I've just put what I really love using them for is to give cues off the, from the ground with these sticks. Uh, so I've put here uh, three points. The reason I'm saying this is because a lot of people, 
you know, me included, I used to just ask for forward using the hind quarters, ask them to go over using the hind quarters, uh, all the same sort of area here, really. What, what I found really benefits the riding from any age, really, and trailering, everything, is to put cues on your horse with the boinging stick where, my, where your legs go, where your feet go, okay? So this is hind quarters. That's where roughly my, when I lay my foot back to, the hind, to move the hind quarters, that's where it'll be roughly. Now, if you've got short legs, it might be here. If you've got really long legs, it might be here. So you work out roughly where your heel, your leg will go for the cue. This is for forward. We know a horse has to separate it out for sidewards and for rib cage, but initially with the, 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 the cues relating to where it is on the body for our legs, I use this for forward and I use this for shoulders, okay? So there's just three places there. Now I know we can still use the hind quarters and there are times when you need to, but it's a great, I'm gonna demonstrate now how I use the boinging stick to influence those, those parts. Okay, so the best place for you to go, Tanya. Uh, I've got to be careful there. of the sun or else okay. it might block you so, out. I'll just put this further up here, out my way. Okay, so I'm going to use, I don't know how you can see it there, Tanya. Okay, I'll come here. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the forward. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to just place a little bit of pressure on the forward mark, which would relate to all my trailer loading and everything, and then I'll tap. So I'm going to put, place it on, and then I'm going to tap, and then release, because she went forward, okay? So then I just maybe give it a bit of a rub with it. You don't want them frightened of it. And I, I, I've chosen Nita because I haven't used a stick with her. I've not needed to for, for a long, long time to do anything like this. So. If she gets a little bit worried about something, I can just work through it with you. So I'm going to look at the spot again, and this is the forward cue. I'm going to press. She went forward a step. Tell her how good she is. Press again. Tap, tap, tap. She went forward. Okay? So I would, with a boy, you stick, even a youngster, you can work on this. A little cluck as well. And then take it off. So that's the one part. Right. So, so that's the forward cue. Now, what I'm going to do now is do the hind end cue, where I've marked it. I'm going to block any forward, block all forward now, and I'm going to look at the hind quarter, and I'm going to press first, nothing's happening, now I'm going to boing. Now I'm going to keep boinging, let her figure this out. There, so she took a step. Okay, tell her how good she is. Right, give her a break in between. So I'm blocking forward. So if she goes forward, what's that? I oh, know, I was just sheltering it from the wind. <laughs> if there's any forward, I'll just either back her up or, or block her. So I'm gonna look at the place, that's where my heel is. Press first, nothing. Then I'll start just boinging and take it off. Tell her how good she is. I'm gonna keep this going until she does it really well. Look at it, press, start boinging and do it again. Start boiling. Oh, now that was a really good one. So now she did that the best of all of those. Just leave her for a second now. In fact, I, I, I quit at that foot to start with. Now, there's then, can you see Tanya? You're yeah. not looking at the... Yeah. Right. Then we've got the shoulders. So I'm gonna block, block forward motion. I'm gonna put, this is where my shoulders would be. I'm gonna push, and if nothing happens, then I'm gonna wait for this shoulder to go. I'm just gonna keep going in now, till that shoulder, yes. Now she searched then. It's the first time I've done that for ages with her, so that was good for you to see. No? Yeah. Maybe I'll see it. Yeah. Right. So, shoulders again. I'm gonna push first, I'm blocking forward. Push, give it a chance, I'm waiting for this shoulder to go. There it went, tell her how good she is. So a little break, so I'm blocking forward. This needs to relate to either this crossing or the other, other shoulder reaching. Okay, so, 
There, it went. Okay, so very good she is. Again, little press, little cluck, and it went. Okay, so forward, lovely, behind, shoulder. <laughs> so that, that come really quick, guys. That's, that's what you can use it for. Uh, and that, if you get those solid, you can use that for trailer loading, because trailer loading it is nothing more than lining up feet forward. Right? Hind quarters. Hind quarters. Shoulders. Feet forward. Hind quarters. Lovely. So you, you can get total control of your horse's parts with with, 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 with with your sticks, without no pain. There's no pain in there at all. Um, now also, you can use them for backing up. If uh, I was asked the question quite a bit, uh, a lot, lot of horses won't, won't give space. Now my horses, obviously, you know, that mean, means something to my horses. But a lot of the time, people have trouble trouble with that sort of thing, uh, getting horses off them. Now, we can tap a chest, you know. I haven't done that with it for ages, but you can see you can tap a chest. And also, if a horse won't back off you, you can tap this down, like that. You can use them without, it's the, it's the noise from the stick that can really help backing up, right? She thinks she's got to back up for everything now, <laughs> so I'll just come in and say no. <laughs> Neat. Right. So, so if I tap this, if a horse is coming towards me, I can tap that, and they're great for that. They don't. There's no whip sound to them. Okay. So, um, forward, behind. That's lovely. So I think that. I'll check what this looks like in a second, see whether we've managed to get the point across with this one. This is the first attempt um, I've had of it. And I think, I think, the only thing better than one of those <laughs> is two of those. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that's helped a little bit. Like I say, I swear by these things. Uh, so that's it, the Boeingen stick. Um, hope a lot of people have them off us and benefit from them. Okay?